Hi everyone. Welcome to another Tech Tips channel. Today we will go through the last workshop for the dispatch module. Setting up the format rules and auto notification. Before we start our topic today, have you watched the previous video? If you haven't watched, highly recommend you may watch the last video first. The link is shared at the top right corner. All right, let's start the topic today. Let's check out what is the format rules that we have added. In the job map, we have three rules for the client pointer and one rule for the delivery member pointer. The client pointer is displaying with a different color according to the job status. Red color mean new or pickup job. Yellow color mean it is out of delivery and the green color is delivered. Let's check out the format rules. This is the three rules that we have implemented for the client pointer. Let's check out one by one. Set the rules as shown. All the three rules actually is shared the same purpose but with a different condition. So we may use the copy button to duplicate the rules and then update the condition. All right, let's proceed to next rules. Set a show. If this is copied from the previous rule, then you may just edit the condition and color. All right, proceed to the last rule. Set as shown, if this is copied from the previous rule, then you may just edit the condition and color. Next, let's proceed to the rule for delivery member pointer. Set the rule as shown. All right, the format rules are ready. Let's proceed to the auto notification. For this auto notification, we need to create a bot. Name the bot. Then set the event. I set the condition as update only because I just want to notify the client only if the job status change. Of course you may set add and updates if you want to notify client when the job is newly created. Next, don't forget to set the condition. Our condition is to check the status's value if it is changed. Next, in the process session, create a new task. This new task is a branch on a condition to check whether the status is equal to pick up. If yes, then it will notify delivery team. If no, then it will check with other condition. Let's check out the notify team task first. This task is sending a notification to our delivery team member. Set the task as shown. Let's check if the status is not pick up. Here we got another branch on a condition. 
In this condition, we are checking whether the status is equal to out of delivery. If yes, then it will notify client. If no, then we will check, is the status equal to delivered. As you can see, both is notify client. We separate it, because I want to send a different message to the client according to the job status. Let's check out the notification if job status is out of delivery. We will send the notification to client with email. Set as shown. Let's check out the email body template. So, if the job is out of delivery, we will inform client. The date time of delivery and the product image. Alright, let's check out the notification if the job status is delivered. We send the notification to client with email. Set as shown. Let's check out the email body template. So if the job is delivered, then we will inform client. The date time of delivered, receiver ID and name. Together with the delivered product image and receiver signature. Alright, let's back to Upsheet. Hooray! We have completed all the workshops for the dispatch module. Hope you guys enjoy the video. If you would like to have more video like this, please like, subscribe, and share my channel with your family and friends. And if you have any queries, kindly leave your message in the comment section. I will try my best to reply your message. Thank you and see you guys in the next video. Bye.